Hello, my name is Haley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to tell you guys all about the books I plan to read in September. I'm really excited for this month because I'm participating in Becca's Book Off with Bond. I already did my roles and I already have my TBR for it and it's also my birthday so I anticipate a massive book haul this month. I'm really looking forward to all the reading I'm going to be getting done. So like I said, I already did the roles for Becca's Book Off with Bond. I did them before I started my channel so I didn't record it. Um, and I kind of toyed around with the idea of maybe doing it again, but I liked my TBR so much that I just decided to, just to not. So I'll just tell you guys um, the roles as I go through the TBR. My first role was for a light cover, and for that I chose Will You Be Quiet Please by Raymond Carver. I bought this book at a used bookstore in Dublin, and it's a collection of short stories. I don't know much about it except that it's very highly rated and... Um, I think it deals a lot with sadness and melancholy and tragedy. Um, so I think I'm going to slowly read through this throughout the month so that I don't overload myself with negative feelings. My second role was for a middle grade book. I don't read that many middle grade books, but when I wrote this, I was kind of excited because I have a copy of A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I love the movie for A Little Princess, and I really enjoyed reading The Secret Garden, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I really like her writing, um, and I love the stories she tells, so I think I'm going to really enjoy that one. My third role was for a standalone book, and for that I chose My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg. Moshfeg? Again, I don't know too much about this, but I've heard amazing things about her as a writer. I know it's supposed to be a little weird and a little quirky, um, and I am here for that. I'm ready for it, and I just, I am obsessed with the cover also. Um, my husband is creeped out by the cover, but I think it's amazing, um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. My fourth role was for Fire, and I had the perfect book for this. I chose The Ends of the World, Volcanic Apocalypses, Lethal Oceans, and Our Quest to Understand Earth's Past Mass Extinctions by Peter Brannon and there's fire on it. This book was recommended to me by Steve Brusade, who wrote The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs, which I loved, I think it's amazing. And I tweeted him um, because I was so obsessed with the book while reading it, and I kept reading out things to my husband, and my husband just got so annoyed by me. So I tweeted uh, Steve Brusade and said, I love your book, I annoyed my husband with it, do you have any other books that I can annoy him with? And he recommended this one. Um, and then in kind of a plot twist, my husband bought it for me for my birthday last year. So I guess he's ready to be annoyed because I am excited to read this one. I love learning about the past, whether it's geology or paleontology or archaeology, all of it. I'm really interested in it, and I think this one's going to be good. My fifth role was a friend pick. So just to save time, I asked my husband to pick one out, and he chose the organ... The Organ Trail by Francis Parkman Jr. I picked this one up at a used bookstore in Cardiff. This is an account of a man who travels, or he attempts to travel from Missouri to Oregon in 1846. And it's kind of his, I think it's his diary of his travels. I'm not entirely sure uh, how it's gonna go. Going to California, obviously I learned a lot about the Oregon Trail and about people traveling from the East Coast and the Midwest over to the West Coast. So I'm not sure what to think of this. I'm kind of wary that because it was written in the 1800s that there's gonna be some racism in it and some, you know, American exceptionalism, which I don't have patience for. So I'm not super looking forward to this one, but I am kind of intrigued by it. And also, I think the cover is a beautiful painting. On the back it says, The Conquest of the Prairie by Irving Bacon. Again, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> for my sixth role, I got Dark Cover. And I was really excited for this one because I had the perfect choice for it. And it was Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. I recently just bought this one at a Goodwill store in California. I've been wanting to read this book for so long. Um, I've heard great things about it. It's another collection of short stories, and I know she's a bit heavy in her uh, themes and what she writes about, so um, as well with the Raymond Carver, I might have to take this one a bit slow. But other than that, I'm uh, looking forward to reading it. I've heard great things. I'm ready to see what it's all about. So I ended up only doing six roles for uh, 
that goes book up with one. So those are the books I chose for that. But I do have some other books that I want to read this month. The next one is Stephen King's It. I always have a very large book on the go. I give myself a couple months to read them. The last big book that I read was Gone with the Wind, which I reviewed in my August wrap-up. So this is my next one. I'm going to give myself two months to read this, so it should be finished in time for Halloween. I love the It movies as well as the original miniseries, so I kind of know the story and what's going to happen, but I'm also just so excited to finally read it. I love horror and uh, I like Stephen King a lot and I love this story just from what I've seen, so I'm really, really excited to get into this one. The rest of my TBR are library books. This one I actually started in at the end of August, um, but I haven't finished it yet, so I'm hoping to finish it this month. And that is How to Hide an Empire, A Short History of the Greater United States. As you can tell by the cover, um, we have like the, the map of the United States, but then there's all these other land masses in it. And those actually represent... The holdings and territories that the United States has around the world. The book is all about how the United States is an empire and the contradiction of the United States being an empire. We fought a war to not be part, to be not part of an empire. Um, so the contradiction of that and also how we've been kind of stealthy about it. Also about a kind of the racist implications of it, for instance, with Puerto Rico, or Puerto Rico has been a territory longer than Hawaii was, for instance, but Hawaii is a state and Puerto Rico is not a state. Um, so just kind of the politics and the context regarding that. Um, but then also there's loads of just like um, stories that I knew nothing about growing up in the States and uh, going through like the education system. It just, it has blown my mind. I'm about, I'm almost 200 pages in and it's just, it's tragic and it's making me angry. It's it's not the easiest read. But also the author, Daniel Immerwaher, he is such a good writer and I'm enjoying his writing style. He kind of has a dry sense of humor. I'll get more into it when I review this book in my September wrap up. Even though I haven't finished it, I can just say that you should read this one. That's good. Next book is Mallory by Josh Mallerman. I'm so excited to read this. I loved Bird Box. I loved the book and the movie. Um, so I'm very excited to get back into the world and the story. Um, I'm particularly excited because it's basically autumn here in the UK and I am ready for some creepy books. So I'm going to be starting this one very soon. The last book that I hope to get to before the end of the month is Silver Sword in Stone, the story of Latin America in Three Extraordinary Lives by Marie Arana. This has been on my TBR for a long time and I am ready to read it. This is a history of Latin America through the stories of three different people and their stories kind of revolve around uh, three symbols of Latin American history, which is where the title comes from, Silver, Sword, and Stone. Silver kind of represents the, miner the mineral rich land of Latin America and how that has affected the history and politics of the region. The sword represents the violence of the region and its history. And then stone, the, relig uh, the religious aspect of Latin America and how that has affected the region also. This book has gotten great reviews. I have been wanting to get into Latin American history for a long time. I feel like there's so much to learn and it is kind of an underrepresented area of history. Uh, for instance, I was in Waterstones the other day and I always go to the American history section, but um, South America and Latin America history was right next to it and there was like four books. So it's just, um, it's a shame but I am wanting to learn more and I am excited at what this book um, is going to teach me and how it's written. Okay, those are all my books for the month. It's very ambitious, but I think I can get it done. I am ready to get started and um, I hope you guys have a great reading month also. Please let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these, if you want to read any of them. Also, what you're gonna read this month. I am interested in what you guys are reading also. Thank you so much for watching the video and happy reading.